Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab and today I'm going to be performing a final tweak or mod to my current rig which is my Event Horizon AMD based system which has a Ryzen 9 5950X, 16 gigabytes of memory, uh, a Radeon RX 5700 XT, all water cooled with EK water cooling including the monoblock for the ASUS ROG Strix X570i Gaming which is my motherboard of choice and uh, we've got an EK FLT reservoir, EK rigid tubing, uh, slim radiators as well as not too uh, slim fans so I can fit a 240mm radiator in that case as well as a 120mm I think it's the only uh, version of this uh, this case the Raging Tech Ophion Evo the only water cooled build that I've seen with two radiators in there and uh, today as I mentioned we're going to be doing a final tweak to the system which is going to be to etch the glass side panels so just something that i've been wanting to do for a while i love etching glass it's a really cool way of customizing your pc and obviously you can't really do a lot to temper glass side panels because if you cut them you're basically gonna shatter them because uh, they're usually shatterproof and modding uh, the glass in any way just results in a whole load of little bits which aren't which isn't going to be any good to anybody. So this is the pattern that I've decided on. So uh, Event Horizon obviously related to black holes and kind of got a funky uh, black hole design um, on there as well. So I really, really like that. So what I'm going to be doing is creating a mask using a cutting machine to get a super accurate and super clean mask so I can then transfer the etching cream above the mask so it cuts into the glass and you're left with a really cool frosted look design rather than something that's been engraved or anything like that i just find etching looks a lot cleaner and uh, you end up with a more even surface and uh, not to be confused with engraving engraving is basically where you get like a rotary tool such as a dremel and you kind of engrave the design into the panel or whatever um whatever area you're you're dealing with but with etching um, as long as you create a detailed and accurate mask which as I say is really cool if you've got a cutting machine because that just allows you to do it so much quicker and easier then you get a really really great pattern so that's what we'll be doing today is transferring this pattern onto the Raging Tech Ophion Evo's side glass panel and having a final look at the system at the end. So don't forget to look at the Event Horizon build. Um, I've got loads and loads of cool stuff in there with all the all really, really cool mini ITX hardware, including radiators and EK water cooling, slim radiators, obviously, slim fans, the fabulous EK uh, monoblock for the Asus ROG Strix X570i Gaming as well. So you can check all of that out in my video channel and uh, I'll put links to all those videos down below. You can hopefully see a banner up above. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, also don't forget to like and comment on this video as well. Do you want to see more videos like this where I do small mods and those kind of things? Uh, always love doing a bit of modding. I've been doing it for decades now, I think. So it's about high time that I actually brought it to my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, so let's crack on with transferring this design onto the side panel. So to start with then, we have two elements to creating the design uh, with the actual materials that we're going to be using. The first is essentially our mask. As you can see here, you can kind of cut out uh, your mask either using a scalpel, we'll be using a cutting machine just because it takes a whole lot less time and is a bit more accurate as well. And uh, this basically comes in rolls or sheets. I've just got a big sheet here that's uh, big enough to fit over the area that we need to deal with on the side panel and this is uh, kind of self-adhesive so this is the actual mask that we'll be dealing with so what we'll be doing is cutting our design into this section here of paper and then what we'll be doing is if I uh, switch hands we've got this stuff here which is transfer paper and this basically means that you can roll it over the top of your mask and then you lift the whole thing off and it takes your design with it which you can then transfer on to the side panels. So uh, obviously that's not massively useful here with etching because you're kind of doing it in reverse that you want the open sections to be lifted away. Um, really uh, basically leaving you with your original mask which you can then stick to the side panel leaving open areas for the etching cream to work. But the transfer paper is really, really great for transferring vinyl. And in this case, uh, there might be one or two 
sections in the text, such as the uh, the section in the O. If I just get the original paper back again, you can see that the sections in the O and the R will need to be kind of uh, removed and replaced and those kind of things. Um, at least I think that's the right way around. Um, but yeah, this, this design isn't particularly complicated, but obviously if there are some more complicated designs with cutout sections, the transfer paper is an absolutely essential tool because otherwise you'll be doing everything manually and that just takes friggin' ages. So that's basically what we'll be dealing with is the uh, the mask here, which just kind of peels off and then that leaves open sections for the etching cream to sit on top of the glass, protects the rest of the side panel, and then we might be using some transfer paper as well to transfer everything over. So let's crack on. Okay, so I've imported the image into my cutting machines software and what we're gonna be doing here is just basically creating a trace for the machine to follow. And the way that you do that is basically import your image, resize it to the cutting area, which I've already done here. We'll be doing a uh, kind of a, like a landscape cut. Um, but obviously we can just rotate that onto the panel as needed. Uh, again, the size, I don't want it to be massive on the side panel. I want like a border around the side. So I don't want the, you know, the E and the N over the far edge here to be like right up against the edges of the side panel. I want a couple of inches gap in there so uh, thankfully the, mas the materials are pretty cheap um, also the cutting machine will cut this out in probably like 10 or 15 seconds so it takes it doesn't really take a, a long at all really so if we need to change it then we can always um, just cut out another design afterwards but obviously you know pay to get it right within the first one or two times so the first thing we need to do is to select the trace area and this is basically the, us telling the software where our design is which it's picked up on it there so it's basically got those outlines and then you just need to trace uh, click the trace button and uh, not the outer edge if you just wanted to trace the outer edge for whatever reason then you just select the trace outer edge button but here you just want to trace all the outlines and that will mean that the O and the R here that have these kind of inset sections that we need to uh, deal with as well, they will be catered for. So as you can see there, we've got a, a great clean looking outline for our cutting machine to follow and that's basically what we need to send to the cutting machine. So what we'll do now is send it over to the cutting machine and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, something I thought I would just add in here is that the uh, the paper that I've used, which is, what's it called, original frisket, whatever the hell that means, um, so the masking paper, which is like a matte finish, you can actually print on it. Now, the problem is, as you can see, the, uh, the printer ink doesn't fully absorb into the paper, so I just accidentally moved something across this a minute ago, and as you can see, it's kind of marked the uh it's kind of marked the ink there on the surface so but as long as you keep don't do that uh don't be an idiot like i did you can just use a scalpel to actually cut everything out here so if you don't have one of these a cutting machine which is uh, this one's from silhouette i'll put a link to this and all the uh stuff that i'm using here in the description below so you can get it if you want to have a go um this is basically uh an easier well, I wouldn't say easier, it's not easier, it's a lot harder, but it's a lot cheaper. I mean, you can pick up one of these for a few bucks in your local hardware store and just give yourself like an hour or two to actually cut this out and peel off the letters and that kind of thing. But it is possible. Um, you could also use carbon copy paper, I guess, to draw over it. But for me, printing seemed to work pretty well. And as you can see, the letters that haven't been smudged have actually come out pretty sharp. So yeah, just need to be aware of that. And I'm just going to double check here because this has been drying for a few minutes um yeah see there's it seems to like absorb over time there isn't much smudging going on there so on that letter n there so yeah definitely worth considering just using a scalpel if you don't want to have to fork out for one of these machines so um just make sure you get like a matte paper or something that can accept a print um like a printer uh ink on top and um just go obviously make sure that that's the uh like the double-sided uh or the it's self-adhesive vinyl which is what i'm using here that's basically what this stuff is so anyway that's it let's go and cut out our uh, our design get it onto the transfer paper and get it onto the panel okay so we've just sent the design to the printer and uh fingers crossed everything is going to come out okay so what i'll do here is because it's uh, a pretty 
a pretty horrendous noise. You don't want to be listening to this for the next few minutes. So what I'll just do is uh, whack on some music and you can see the design hopefully come out of the other end. Okay, so trying to get an angle on here where you can actually see it, it's super difficult because it's um, obviously just very, very fine cuts in this thing, but hopefully you can just about see that in the, uh, the brightness there, but it's done a really, really good job. The size is perfect, so we've got a, an inch or so either side of the design on the side panels. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and uh, transfer this onto the transfer paper, and then we can get it onto the, onto the actual side panel. Okay, so what the next step is, is to basically remove the uh, the patterns from the vinyl before we use the transfer paper. So what I've done is I've just removed all the lettering here, but obviously as you can see, hopefully it's pretty difficult on, this, on, the, uh, on the camera to show this, but I've left the inserts for the O and the R here, which we will need to make sure get stuck to the transfer paper in a minute. Now you could do this uh, kind of freehand and without transfer paper. Um, the trouble with that is you then need to basically spend time getting the perfect alignment down here with those things. So if you have transfer paper, if you can afford that, then it's definitely worth just doing it because you can lay it across the whole image, take uh, basically take everything with you and uh, plonk it down onto the side panel. Um, as uh, and have it sit exactly as it does here. So up here, if you can see, we've got that kind of black hole image using the light to show that to you there. And uh, all you need to do is just use the scalpel to kind of lift the uh, plastic. Easier said than done when you're doing it on camera, but that's uh, one of the penultimate bits there. So we're gonna lift out this giant section, this giant circular circle section here. Oh man, this is, uh, I need a head camera. I think it would be a lot easier. So that's uh, penultimate section. And the last bit here is just the top side of this uh, funky black hole design. And uh, we're just gonna remove that. So that is basically our pattern cut out. And uh, basically all those holes are now gonna leave the panel exposed to the etching cream. So let's go ahead and use the transfer paper to get this onto the side panel. So the alignment of our design is pretty important and with that in mind what I've done is just added some uh, alignment tools here onto the side panel which is basically two lines of marker pen uh, and don't worry the marker pen just comes off with a bit of um, acetone or isopropyl alcohol that will just bring it straight off after we've aligned the panel. So what, the, uh, what we want to aim for here is basically the line of text needs to sit level on this line and the center of the black hole design needs to lie on this line here. So this should allow us to align everything vertically and horizontally. Okay, so we've just got the uh, transfer paper and uh, masking onto the side panels. So what we need to do now is smooth everything over. So try and get those lower layers, that or that lower layer, should I see, stuck to the side panel, which will allow us to remove the uh, transfer tape and expose those areas ready for the etching paste. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we have our design transferred to the side panel. We've removed the transfer tape and we've got some nice areas of exposed glass in those things in there. So uh, plenty to work with with our etching cream now then, which we will go and apply. And uh, if you're gonna do this, uh, definitely worth just smoothing over like I've shown you um, already in the video, but just smoothing over just to make sure that all those corners and bends are fully pressed down so the etching cream can't creep underneath them. So looking great so far, so we're gonna go ahead and apply the cream. 
Okay, so this is my etching cream of choice, Armour Etch, and you can see a link to this in the description below. And uh, this is basically what will etch into the glass panel. So what we need to do is go ahead and basically brush this over those designs, making very, very sure not to get any of it near the um, near the edges of the mask because we've got a, a slightly short area there so we don't want to over stray onto the edge of the side panel if that does happen thankfully you can just remove it quickly and uh, no harm is done but you don't want to kind of leave any stray bits of cream on those areas so let's go ahead and brush this in mm -hmm. 